So welcome along to our video series on how to set up your $100 a month marketing and sales tech stack. Um, the first step to doing this is to get the basic tool in place. Um, so we're gonna look at HubSpot first. Uh, so today's video is all about how to set up HubSpot. Um, so to set up HubSpot, simply go to HubSpot.com. Um, I'm using an incognito window so I can show you from scratch. Um, and simply, I mean, you can look around the website, of course, but all you need to do is click Get HubSpot Free. Uh, you'll be able to make all the decisions from there. Um, and what we want to do is we want to go Get Started Free on the Marketing Hub. So click Get Started Free. Uh, it'll give you a sign up. So I'm just going to use my name and email address here. Um, but I'm going to have to use a different email address to usual because obviously you can only have one master account per login. Um, Cool. And then once you've got your password right, you're going to create the account. Uh, my website URL and my company name, Eden Arts Club. This is another agency, um, that creative agency that I run. So once I've got all of this basic information in, it'll start to set up my HubSpot account um, and away I go. Right. So it's going to ask me a few questions. Um, th these are useful to these are sales questions for HubSpot, but they're useful to help them tailor the content to you. Um, I am setting this up, up on behalf of a client. Uh, I'm not using WordPress to run this particular website, but we'll show you how to use the WordPress later. Um, and then, sweet. So I need to copy that into my website. I'll show you how to do that in a future video. Um, cool. So now I'm all ready to go. I click continue to my account. And... I have my HubSpot setup process, right? So I have all of the recommended things that I should be doing here. So it's reasonably easy to drive yourself from scratch. Uh, but what I want to do today is show you how I work when I set the process up. So I simply come up to the project section of HubSpot, which I've got to find in this new UI. possibly not in the marketing free version. Um, but what I do is I simply set up uh, all of the tools that I want, right? So I'm gonna have um, possibly some forms that I wanna build straight away by going into lead capture forms. Uh, it's really important that you have one basic form sitting here for the rest of the process. Um, so I'll come into marketing forms and create a form again, using all of the fields that I want. Great, and that's, you know, that's very easy to do. Um, and really, I just start going from there. So I can also uh, make sure that I've got some CRM stuff set up so I can double check my account uh, this is where all the magic happens in terms of what you have. Um, and I've got HubSpot CRM and I've got HubSpot free sales tools as standard. Um, so a quick little tour of HubSpot is you've got your dashboards here. So with marketing free and marketing starter, you're going to have access to both the marketing and the sales dashboards. Uh, if you upgrade your HubSpot to basic or marketing to basic or professional, um, you're going to end up with access to web analytics and a whole pile of other stuff. Um, it's very easy to set these dashboards up as you want, right? You click add report and get a list of all of these widgets um, that you're after. It's pretty bloody straightforward to be fair. Um, the next thing is contacts. So contacts work in one of two ways. You can either add contacts in yourself or you can um, create, or you can have a form sitting on your website that creates them automatically. Um, creating a contact is basically as easy as typing in the email address, first name, and last name. Uh, with marketing, you're going to be looking at lead capture. So you've got ads, collected forms, forms, and lead flows under, under the marketing free. Under marketing basic, it'll open up 
under marketing starter, it'll open up a couple of more features. Um, you've got sales deals and tasks, um, documents and meetings. So these are part of the CRM and you get a basic level of stuff for free here. Um, if you look at the deal funnel, uh, not many people work very work a deal funnel very often. I like to look at the board. So I have all my statuses up here. Um, what I One of the first things that I like to do when I set up HubSpot is to make sure that I customize the deal funnel um, to my clients. So I do that by going into settings from the deal funnel and editing the deal stages. Now there's a few things I want to do here. I want to make sure that my win probabilities are about where I expect them to be. So when I'm looking at my sales dashboard, I'm getting an accurate read on future revenue uh, and that the stages make sense for my sales process. So if I am doing... Um, something different at the decision maker board in stage, if that doesn't apply to my business, it might be worth deleting it or reusing it for something else. Cool. So once I've got all of that set up, I'm pretty much done with HubSpot. Um, it's all ready to go. Obviously, I'm going to need to go to my email address and verify um, that the email is mine and do all of the basic software as a service setup. Um, the things you might want to start looking at as well is the HubSpot Academy once you set up your HubSpot account. Uh, HubSpot Academy has a heap of training stuff um, that's far better than I can provide you uh, on all of this. So you've got all of these courses here um, that you might want to start looking at to take um, so you can start to get the most out of the software. So HubSpot sales software and HubSpot marketing software certification are really good things to do just to get the starting point so you can start to leverage the power of the HubSpot software going forward. Uh, but apart from that, once you're um, through that part of the process, you've finished setting up HubSpot, and now you're ready to move on and start integrating it with the rest of your marketing tech stack. So in the next video, we'll show you how to set up HubSpot uh, and integrate it. Sorry, once you've set up HubSpot, integrate it with WordPress uh, and set up Thrive Themes so that you're really cooking on gas um, with your website going forward.